everyone, we're going to take a look at installing Couchbase Server on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS. You'll notice I already have my terminal open and I'm already connected to my server through SSH. You'll also notice that I have the official Couchbase documentation open. We're going to be using one of these URLs to download a file to set up our Couchbase YUM repository. So inside of your terminal, go ahead and enter the following. Go ahead and enter curl hyphen capital O because we're going to download it, this to a file HTTP packages dot couchbase dot com slash releases slash couchbase hyphen release slash couchbase hyphen release hyphen one dot O hyphen one hyphen x86 underscore 64 dot RPM and I realize that I realized that we could have just copied this URL, uh, but it might be beneficial if I read it out loud. I'll also be including it in the video description when it gets published. So go ahead and hit enter, and it downloaded it to disk. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually install this. So let's say sudo rpm hyphen i couchbase, and then I'm going to hit tab so that way it'll just auto complete it for me and hit enter. It's going to ask you for a password. Go ahead and do that. Now we can finally run the Couchbase yum installer. So what we're going to do is we're going to run sudo yum install. And we have the opportunity to install either Couchbase Enterprise Edition or Couchbase Community Edition. So we would type in the following Couchbase server and we can choose community. If we want to install Enterprise Edition, we would just do Couchbase Server, and that's the edition that we're going to install right now. So hit Enter. It'll ask you to choose Yes numerous times during the installation process. Go ahead and do that. When the installation process is done, go ahead and clear your terminal. We're going to use a web browser from here to access and configure Couchbase Server. Uh, so you'll notice that my particular server is on port, uh, actually IP 10.0.1.77. Go ahead and use whatever address your server is on. So we're going to create a new tab. We're going to say 10.0.1.77 in my case. And we're going to connect on port 8091. When you run this URL, you'll get a screen that looks something like this. This is the initialization of Couchbase. You'll notice that we're running Couchbase 4.1 Enterprise Edition. Uh, it'll say different versions or, or Community Edition if you're running a different edition. Let's go ahead and choose Setup. From this screen, we'll have the opportunity to choose where data is stored on disk. We'll also have the opportunity to choose a host name. What we're going to look at is starting a new cluster. So we're not actually going to be clustering Couchbase instances in this video. We're just going to create one instance. Uh, this instance is going to have the data, index, and query services running. We're going to go ahead and use the default RAM and the default index. We're going to choose Next. From the next screen, we have the opportunity to choose from a few sample buckets. You don't have to choose any of these sample buckets. A scenario is where you would want to install one is if you want some sample data to play around with to get more familiar with NoSQL and Couchbase in general. I'm going to choose Travel Sample and click Next. The next screen will be creating a default bucket. Everything on this screen I'm going to leave as the default except for the memory size. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because this default bucket I won't be storing much in it. Go ahead I'm going to choose 100. You can choose whatever you'd want and click Next. From the next screen, you have the opportunity to enable software updates. You can also register Couchbase. Once you type in your registration information, choose I agree and click Next. Finally, we have the opportunity to add an administrative user. So we're going to choose the username to be administrator and go ahead and enter a password and click Next. At this point, Couchbase server is configured and ready for use. Uh, you'll see that my travel sample bucket is currently being set up. That's why server is down. 
it's it's loading the travel sample bucket and it's bringing up our server so the travel sample bucket will take some time to load it there's a lot of records and this is a slower server uh, but you can see what's going on inside of the data buckets area you'll also have the opportunity to see uh, various statistics about your Couchbase node and various analytic information. So that was all it took to install Couchbase server on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS.